Cool. Now, where are we? Well, things things have changed a little bit. I mean, a lot, really. This since some weeks. <laughs> Next, we are working with we are working with butterflies. We are now are going coming back with the butterflies. We are going to start. Uh, selling them next and yeah, perhaps some of you have seen this post on Facebook we did it is that we finally got the, the, the permit for exporting legal large obligates from Colombia uh, from the ones that we were breeding for many years and we were keeping there so now they are here now they they were rolling this week it was incredible and uh, I have a very good friend that is Justin Jigger. He wants the doctor, Justin, yes. <laughs> uh, I have to be respectful. <laughs> um, he told me, people just are excited to get the frogs they want, but they don't realize their victory is far greater. I mean, in, from a personal point of view, that was nice to hear. Because, yes, it's not just giving you the frogs. Of course, you are going to be part of the revolution of having uh, very, very endangered Colombian frogs and you're going to help on, the, on their conservation as a community. But the thing is that we changed the whole way uh, in, in which their culture was, was dealing with endangered species of frogs or activities. It changed a lot and it's going to be uh, bigger all the time because we are going to bring more species, not only from amphibians. Next. Uh, this is what we have, and you can, you can read this. I got it from an email that Chris sent me the, 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 the next day that we got the permit. And you know, this kind of this kind of things is uh, the things that keep us motivated and keep us, you know, focused on the, of getting everything done. You know, people that are not really interested on getting even our frogs. People that really think that. It should be done because it's the, it's one, it has to be done from the from a moral point of view, not the money point of view. Next, we have been doing this. We breed our large obligates separated from the mother. We have a lot of females. That is why we have a lot of eggs. It is how we do it. We, you know that it can be done in different ways. Next. The results. We have several. We have, we have uh, several morphs of histronicas and lemonis coming next. This is something that is being uh, the the morphs that uh, we are working right now at the Soros. We have the best, uh, the most important collection of amphibians in Colombia, in the amphibian country. Next. And these are histronicas. These are really nice frogs, as you can see. Something uh, somewhere in the future, everything is going to be available. I mean, of course, you know that it's difficult to, to set a big, a big group of these animals for 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 for, for a shipment. But everything will be. I mean, everything. Everyone has to be patient because because now we got the permit. It's just a question of time for everyone to get them. Next. This is like this one, John. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I really like that you like that you enjoy this for these pictures. Looks like a candy. Which one? The top one. Mm -hmm. Hey, this one. Okay. I will call it John. Is it John? Okay, next. Also, uh, we started we started to think about making the communities part of the project with the cross. Of course, when we started thinking about this, we didn't have any money. I was supporting the whole the sort of operation, working on other things, and it's not cheap. I mean really really expensive and uh, it's almost five thousand dollars per month 
I have to give him quarters because that's 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 how it cost. That's what it costs, including lawyers. So we uh, we did this uh, approach with a local authority. We wanted to work with the Waters of Pistomeras and make the local villagers that are facing a very bad situation economically and politically, and we have been uh, in the middle of a war, I mean, or, or a crazy war uh, between the, the, the government and the guerrillas, and they, are, they have a really bad uh, situation in terms of environment and economics, to make them uh, use in a very uh, in a, in a nice approach of the, of the work, to use the biodiversity Money. So the idea is that we could get some people to uh, do some ecological restoration like we did at the source to, and to, to increase the area of forest on their properties that were used for pastures, cows, mm -hmm. things like that. And maybe we can collect, collect some of these uh, tadpoles from the Indianapolis of Pistomelas, raise them, sport them, you will buy them. Of course, our community will buy them, and that money will go directly to them. So they will get at least a minimum wage every month to keep uh, increasing the, the for their the forest at their at their properties. And then we can bring some other species on the business, and the soros will only manage that and help. <coughs> yes. Sure. You say habitat enrichment. Does some of that uh, uh, encompass Reintroduction? Reintroduction? Hold on. No, no, this is only to uh, to collect some of the animals. We will enrich their habitat. We want to, 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 to make the, the forest larger. We are, we are going to increase the population by enriching the, 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 the habitat with, uh, with places for, uh, for, uh, for, for put, in, put, in, put in place, put in a uh, set up places in which they can put more eggs and keep away predators and things like that and use those eggs for for getting some money for these people. Next. Another thing, sorry about the pictures, I to, I had to took this uh, like uh, three hours before my flight, so it was I was very sleepy, but the important thing is the information. We said you know that we uh, we were sending this to Fagas for the very first time from a legally origin to the United States. So we set up an Alphaga database. Um, uh, Chris Bellick from France were really, really good at this, designing this, and in which all the frogs that are being uh, exported from the source will have a unique code for the species, the date of birth, the owner, and the localization and some pictures that will uh, there will be the ID for each of the frogs that are coming here. Why are we doing all this? Next. Because there's a lot of... of next. Uh, they, they will come with the pictures and everything. Because we don't want our frogs to be mixed, you know, with probably, probably uh, uh, smuggled animals that are coming out of Colombia at this very moment. Some people will try to go there and get more, get some frogs uh, to mix them with our frogs. So our frogs are going to be on this database. You're talking about illegal animals. Illegal animals are smuggled here. Yeah. So the idea is that our frogs are, you know, in another bag. Yeah. Yes. So that database will be available for anyone who's interested in, exactly. in the future. It's public. I mean, public. you have to keep, you do have to enter the code, and you will find out if it's if it's registered there. Okay. So if you are selling your frog, you have, you have to change only the, the owner. That's it. And you can go there and see if the picture is exactly the same. And also, you will get a physical certificate. And also, you will get like a card, ID card with the pictures. You know, on a, on, a, on a PDF, you can, okay, it's, it's, it's perfect. So my lemony comes from the solar. I mean, at this point, there are only a few lemonies here, but hopefully you will breed 
you will get your money back, hopefully, and you will register your offspring here. So uh, the community will get you know, organized. Next. Yeah, well, there, there, you see, you see this owner's information as well. The, the, the address, country, things like that. Next. And that's the, the Calorini. Who knows Calorini? Who knows? Who knows Calorini? Well, this is the, 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 the physical certificate for each one of the proud owners of the of the obligates that we are exporting. Uh, yes, next. Our future. What is coming up? Next. Suspense. <laughs> what are you doing? You want, you want me to stop? Building <laughs> suspense. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, John. Sir. Where's Johnny? Top left. Top left. This one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Calorini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Top left. Well, I mean, just a teaser. I mean, these pictures will can come, can become a reality. Just because we got the permit, we got some, some uh, finally we got some, some money to operate comfortably. We are going to go ahead and get and ask for the Silvatica and the Ocultado uh, permits. That's what we are going to do next year. We're not going to stop you. We have a lot of more of Cistronica that are coming, that are secure. We're going for this. Why? Because these are going to disappear as well. We, of course, um, are going to use you as a community that wants to keep them, breed them, and get money for sending, sending, say, for getting your money to keep doing uh, captive breeding, uh, to keep doing research, to keep doing uh, a lot of pressure <coughs> on the Colombian government. Okay? Perhaps in the future we're going to see some central elites, some antelopus. Perhaps we're going to work on that. Next. And about the introduction. That's something that nobody can handle at this point. It's really, really difficult to do a reintroduction program. Even for amphibians, it's very difficult. And you need a lot of uh, expertise, a lot of money, a lot of everything. And of course, uh, you need to, to have the government on your side. It's going to be difficult, but we have started. We have submitted the proposal to the government to start a pilot project of uh, the, the, doing the reintroduction of a lost population of the Rodestrum cash. Why? Because we know it. We know the genetics, we know the locality, we know everything, we know everything about this. And this is just a pilot project that can be, in the future, uh, be uh, improved for other species. We don't know if it's going to work, but we can try. At, that's what we are doing here. You know? Also, we keep we will keep doing our, our talks everywhere to, 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 to get some some uh, some get to get people to know what we are doing and, and the needs of the amphibians in Colombia. Next, we are going definitely to, to put a lot of effort to bring this project of the of the community the community project at the at the uh, National Park around the national park with the, with, the, with the locals in order to get the Amnibatos Pistomelas on the market very soon. It's, it's difficult at this point because the law changed. So we are trying to find out the way with lawyers again how to deal with this. I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm, I'm almost become one. <laughs> Next. Maybe we can, under that, Kind of projects we can bring these antibodies to the to the market. Yeah. It's good looking. Huh? Mm -hmm. They're nice. There's a lot of antibodies coming. A lot of them without any description. Yeah. Scientific description. It's crazy about this. Next. So the message here is that well, uh, please keep <coughs> buying only legal frogs. That's it. It's the only thing that I, that, that, that the source want to tell you at this point. Please avoid the smuggling frogs. Please help us, you know, spread the word of what we are doing. 
we are with you. You are part of the source when you when you come here, when you when you have the patience to hear me for an hour with my very bad English, very bad humor, sense of humor. <laughs> you know, and also, but, 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 but if you are here and you are uh, going through this, it's because you are part of the source. Please buy our frogs. Please buy frogs that come legally from other uh, colleagues from other countries. From other, so, uh, people that are doing the same. That's the only way to keep the, a very good, strong community, a healthy uh, community. And of course, we can do the community of the frog lovers bigger, stronger, and more professional. Um, I want to make an announcement today. Uh, we have decided that we are creating like a branch of the Soros in the United States. The head of that is going to be Mr. Alberto Cadolini. It's going to be uh, doing some representation for us, helping us with the sales. He's going to work for us. And we decided that he is the person that can help us to, you know, go further in, uh, in no time. So I want to give the Alberto the, uh, to give a welcome, a very warm welcome. Thank you. Thanks for all the effort. <laughs> Chris, Mike, Christopher Bellick in France, all the guys that have been incredibly helpful, a lot of friends and supporters everywhere, people that are not here, that are from the United States, from California, I have a lot of friends. And uh, yes, definitely, it's been a, it's been a, a very hard experience in, in, in many aspects. But if I go back to, the, from, to 2006 or 2005, I will start all over again. Thank you, man. I want to, to remember my, my uncle the, who, who, who passed away, my uncle Miguel. He was a very nice person. And uh, today was his funeral here in the United States. Thank you.